welcome back to Jack Hill's Castle. Today we're here with some popcorn buckets. We just got back from seeing Ghostbusters. Mm -hmm. First of all, what'd you think? It was really cool, not gonna lie. I liked it a lot. Um, there have been some negative rev reviews coming out by the critics. Uh, most of them didn't like the last one either. Um, but I think it's pretty safe to say if you liked the last one, you're going to like this one. I liked it better than the last one, yeah, actually. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. So it was kind of its own new story rather than going back to Gozer and all of that. Yeah. But um, when we went to AMC, they had the traps. Um, they had a mini puffed drink dispenser. Yeah. It was really cool. It was big. But it was like 20 bucks, which seemed kind of high to me. Yeah, well, $19.99. Yeah, $19.99. Uh, they had the trap. It was 40 bucks. Came with a large popcorn. Um, they made a Slimer that uh, they didn't have there, which I thought was kind of weird. Uh, but there were a lot of issues with it. They showed pictures online, I think, at one point. People bought it, and it didn't look anything like it. Uh, it was kind of goofy looking. The Cinemark one, I think. Looks a little nicer than the AMC one did, but the trap is really cool. So, should we open up Slimer first to make everyone wait on this one? Yeah. <laughs> All right. I Let's, even want to. I know, I do too. Let's check out Slimer real quick, though. This one we got a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Um, we've just kind of been holding on to it. What were we going to see? We went and saw uh, Imaginary. Imaginary, yeah, 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 yeah. We liked that too. Um, but this one I think is pretty cool. Slimer looks great. You see his butt there on the back? Um, holding the Cinemark popcorn bucket. What do you think? He's pretty cool. But I definitely think he looks more movie-like than the AMC one. The AMC one was a little more cartoony, I think. It was. Yeah. Now, it might be, it's not real pleasant to try and stick your hand in there to get the popcorn. Well, you, His hands probably fit better, but it's you, a little tight. Look, you can if you just avoid the teeth and just go. Yeah, I guess you can get out of his, his bag. Should we give him a little bit of a closer look at it? Yes. All right, let's take a look. And I got Slimer over here. He is really cool looking. They did a great job with, I feel weird saying likeness, because it's not like a human likeness, but it, it looks like Slimer should look. Yeah. The AMC one looked more kind of like the uh, cartoon Slimer from like uh -huh. uh, the Ghostbusters cartoon from the 80s. Um, but they did a really nice job on this one. Even if he does have a little bit of a, a, a small opening to get your popcorn out of. You can still grab You can, it. especially if you're 11. My big old hands don't fit quite as well. Like if it fills up in here, it'll probably be up to like right yeah, here. Yeah, that's a good right. point. You could just get it right here, but it's still kind of, it's still a little bit Wait, awkward. But when it gets down <laughs> here, you just go. If only we all had tiny hands. My hands are even tiny. <laughs> okay, so on to the trap. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take Let a look take at this the trap. Thing Hold out. on, let's switch spots with it here. Okay. Okay. Now, there are two different traps. Regal Cinema got a trap as well. Um, I don't know if the bottom part of the trap itself actually looks different, but the Regal one does not have this kind of popcorn holder on the top. Um, and I think it was quite a bit cheaper. Now, I believe, let's see, this lights up. Can you pull the tab out of there? Okay. And then this? You think that's... Not that way. Might have a switch on the... Oh, yeah. There's just a regular little switch on the bottom. Okay, that's pretty cool. I feel like this should light up. I agree. It does look like that should light up, but I don't guess it does. At least not that I know how. No, it doesn't. But this looks really cool lit up. Uh, let's try this out. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. It's yeah. got the Ghostbusters symbol there on the, the side, on both sides of it. I do feel like that little light on the back really does look like it should light up. But, uh -huh. uh, and I believe this is also removable here. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. So then this can close. So it looks more like the trap from the movie. Wait, my question is how would you have used it uh, for a popcorn bucket at the... It's oh. empty inside. I think the other one, the lights on the back might light up. Uh, but this part does not, because so, it would be full of popcorn. Just say, normally you, like, don't you use this to open this up in the movie? Um, I think they have a, no, it would connect to, see this, I think it, oh, they yeah. have a, a and they just hold it controller like in their hands. They yeah. hold it like this, 
Yeah. And it does have the wheels on the bottom, uh, so it can roll. It's got a bunch of knobs here. Should we give them a little bit of a closer look at it? Yes. All right. Okay, so let's take a little bit of a closer look at this thing. It does have a knob here, and this is what we were messing with, because um, it does turn. So it, we thought maybe that would well, turn it on, but it just, it just moves. Knob. That's not the only knob. There's one here. Yep, there's one on this side as well. And... Oh, God, I didn't realize. There's one here. There's one here. There's one here. And there's one here. They, they do all move, which is pretty cool. Uh, they don't do anything, but they all move. And then up here... Wait... It looks like a little switch, but it that switch does not actually move. But yeah, this light looks like it should it should it light up, but really it, it does, does not. Um, up here, you've got the the popcorn bucket part, um, and it real easily lifts off of here. I say that, and then, yeah. but it's just got these two little little slots here um, that it kind of slides down with, and then it can be closed and open. Yeah, and then it just kind of sits down in there. And I, I kind of like the fact that this one lights up on the top rather than uh, just the lights on the side. I think it's kind of nice. Yeah. Because that's what it would do in the movie. If you had it up on a shelf, it would look pretty cool. And then, yeah, it just sits right back down in there to hold your, your big box of buttery popcorn. On this one here, if you take a look at the bottom, um, when you get it, it does have batteries already in it. It just has a pull tab um, and an on-off switch there. Got the movie logo and everything. They did a really nice job on this one, I think. So with the two of these, what do you think? They're both really cool. They are cool. Do I even need to ask if you have a favorite or or is it not obvious? It. Maybe it's not. It's a tough call here. Yeah, because the slimer. Slimer is like... cool. But I've always kind of wanted a trap. So I was sold on it. <laughs> it's a hard choice. Okay, let me let me make it let me make it harder. Let's bring in the old one. Oh. Okay. What what about this okay. one? Okay. Okay. Look, it even still lights up. Out of these so, three, the best is this one. The old one. So they haven't topped the old. It's just uh, the so Ecto detailed. One. It is. This is a nice one. Now, they did also make, um, I don't remember what theater it was for, but they did make another one of these that um, looks more like the Ecto-1 from the new movie uh, rather than Afterlife. God, this thing is dusty. I couldn't remember the name of the last one. Afterlife. Yeah. yeah. So, this is the winner in your book. Yeah, and then it's it's really hard to choose between these two. I gotta say though, he's he's just completely wrong. Cause the trap's my favorite of all three of them. Because <laughs> it's more like a prop from the movie. I think is my my favorite part of it. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. If you like take this out, yep. then yeah. Um, but I don't know how many they had. Um, there were a lot of people showing up for the movie tonight. So I have a feeling if you don't get out there, probably by tomorrow, a lot of them will be gone. So if you want one, I wouldn't sleep on it. But what's next? Godzilla. Godzilla. Um, I do believe there's going to be a bucket. I don't think it's anything quite as fancy as this, um, but I don't see a world where you're going to let me get away without going to probably get one. Right? Yeah, we probably need probably going to go get yeah. one. So keep an eye out for it next week when we hit that up. We'll be back. Please like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.